<laughs> What's going on, YouTube? It's James with Hammer Fantasy Battle Reports, and I'm just trying to hammer these videos out so you guys get some more content by me right now. Um, so I'm trying to squeeze this one in, but you know what? This game, I'm not going to lie to you, when me and Todd played it, was probably less than an hour long. So we finished this game. Uh, this is round two at the dojo tournament for the, the uh, Michigan GT Primer. But... Uh, it's round two, me versus Todd. Todd's a vampire coven player. I'm an orking oven player. If you don't know me, I don't know why you're watching my channel if you don't know me. But, um, and you're probably going to get extremely annoyed if you don't know me. You're probably like, this guy yells too much. Everybody complains that he yells too much. What the hell? Why do people listen to this? I don't understand. Anyways, <clears throat> but I'm excited to play against Todd because Todd tells me these magic words, okay? He tells me, I said, what lore? lores did you bring and he tells me necromancy and fire and I was like oh when I heard necromancy necromancy is probably one of the most broken attributes I shouldn't even say this on a video because then all of a sudden next freaking uh, update they're gonna change freaking goblins from doing this but anyways it's the most broken for uh, orcs and goblins because you could steal their attribute of healing a wound on a character or a unit or something that has multiple multiple wounds. So I was like, alright. So Todd comes out on the table and he brings out this list. Now, I don't know what his other lists have looked like in the past. I, I know I fought him once uh, with where he had this giant block of ghouls, which he does have a giant block of ghouls. Um, he has, uh, but he played with Black Knights before and a Vampire Lord on a, on a, on a horse before, Barded Ethereal thing, whatever, right? But this time he's coming out with a big block of, of um, ghouls. They're led by a Strigoi Ghoul King, or a Vampire Strigoi Bloodline, right? Has the region. He has the magic item, the teeth, that give them all parry. And then he has something else. I forgot. what, Whatever, right? He has a small block of skeletons that's going to be a bunker for the wizards that he has. He has another small block of ghouls that I don't understand why he has that block of ghouls. I'm trying to figure that one out. He has three... Um, Varkalax. Those aren't the freaking uh, vampire spawn. Those are Varkalax. Um, so those guys are going to be flying around. That's pretty much where his most of his damage output is in those Varkalax. Then he has the giant Terrorgeist, whatever its name is nowadays. All right. So, um, oh, I didn't give you guys my picture here. As you can see, he has on the floor right there. There's a couple of uh, his characters: the Strigoi Ghoul King, his Necromancer, so on and so forth. Now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just spew this out because I'll, and I'll try to match it up as good as I can. Um, but I have a uh, unit of Savage Orc Ed Bashers or Feral Orc Ed Bashers, 37 of them with spears. They have um, the Banner of Speed and they have Ironhide Icon. Ironhide Icon is not going to do shit in this whole game because this guy has like one thing that con is considered range. Um, he has, um, or I have a unit of Cave Trolls, six Cave Trolls. I have my two gargantula spiders the a rock and the chicken rock um they've been both very 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 trust trusty lately and they just been you know especially the a rock the a rock is always consistent always good chicken chicken rock not so much he likes to goof off at times i got 20 cave goblins uh the two guys there are goblin joe and goblin bax joe goblin bax joe ha has three spells in an mr uh rock and then goblin joe has um two spells little gods and um a dispel scroll. I forgot what spells they had. I basically took a bunch of uh, small casting spells. I, I had a chance of getting the the green moon, and I told myself not to because I wanted to have a bunch of small casting spells um, that would be useful, more or less, uh, to uh, against this uh, undead horde. Now I have a unit of uh, wolf riders, uh, five of them, just ran regular chaff. I have a unit of six boar boys of the boar apocalypse. These guys have Mykonox totem, so it gives them ability to turn off any magic items that are touching this unit, period. It's on their special banner, so as long as they get into combat, that'd be great. Now, first off, I have King Koopa! King Koopa is the fat bastard. He has a one-up armor, four-up regen, uh, goblin king, forest goblin king with poison attacks. He now has the obsidian sword that goes through all armor, and again, it's against an army that doesn't even matter about armor. Then I have General Zod. Kneel before Zod. Zod is a one-up armored iron orc on a chariot with a four-up ward. He has hand weapon shield or a great weapon. He also has divine icon, so he doesn't really care if you, if you have ward saves. He's going to break you. He's the ward breaker. Anyways, um, so I go ahead and I deploy like this. And I I think he deployed first. I want to say he deployed first. Let's, let's find out. 
Uh, it looks like he did. Yes. So uh, we deploy like this. And when um, again, I don't remember what spells I have. I know I have fix it up. I know I have like poison, something else, right? But I go ahead and I'm like, I figured the spiders could go through the water, no problem. The the water's not an issue, so I put all the spiders on the left side. The poor boys might have an issue with the water, but as long as they're charging, I don't really care. Um, or if they could just go around when Zod moves up. Um, the main center point here is Zod. Everybody's in Zod bu Zod's bubble in this picture. Everybody, maybe not the Chicken Rock, but the Chicken Rock's the least one to worry. Because I don't want his terror geist, whatever it's called nowadays, his terror geist, uh, Shrieking Horror, that's what it's called. I don't want his Shrieking Horror killing a bunch of my guys because he's fucking... Um, He's screaming and kills them because I have low leadership. So everybody's in the leadership bubble, and everybody's going to be able to take it. And if he needs to come close enough, he has to come too close. If he tries to come behind me, I have a fanatic to give him in the face. But if not, he's going to have to take a hit. So um, he starts moving his both of his, uh, or all three of his Varkalax around the flanks. He's going around the flanks. He's trying to come around the back. Um, he was kind of shocked that I had no war machines. He was like, where's your war machines? I was like, my spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so turn one, uh, vampire spawns or vampire coven. Uh, he moves at the, the the shrieking horror to the the right there. He, he put it right in range so he could uh, scream into my goblins. I didn't vanguard up my full twelve. I vanguarded up to keep him in the general's bubble, which I guess was twelve. Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, I figured they're they're, they're good for chaff. They're good for bait. But basically, um, I could set up based on this, right? So he just starts moving up a little bit. He's going to basically try to magic me down. Magic phase, he got eight power dice. He goes ahead and he throws up a fireball onto my wolf riders. I dispel that one. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to let you kill my wolf riders that easy. Uh, he tried to do something else, and he failed the cards outright or the dice outright. So then he just goes into shooting phase. Shooting phase, he screams the shrieking horror right into those wolf riders. Bah! Kills three of them. They do not run. They do not panic. They are right there inside the general bubble and the BSB bubble. They're going to go ahead and take it like a champ. And that's all I need them for. I just need them for chaff. All right. So let's going to go ahead and start off turn one. Orcs and goblins. That was it, guys. I told you, this game goes by in less than an hour. I'm not kidding. Okay. Turn one. I charge the savages into a shrieking horror. Again, if you guys watch my last game, and this happened in UB too. I fight all these guys with monsters. I'm going to freaking ram them with the Stabadon. Do ordnance. And it's going to just fucking rack up wounds. And then the thing is... Um, if I charge and I make it, I'm p getting past the force. So I don't have to worry about getting like flanked or anything stupid in the force and not having steadfast. So I go for it, and I fail that charge. But Zod goes in, and Zod! Zod goes in, hits the fucking terror guys in the face, and he's like, what? I don't care who you are. That is awesome. Um, I move Koopa up. I move the A-Rock up. I basically keep the Chicken Rock back because he sees some things coming around my flank. I move my uh, Goblins up in a funky position because I need to do magic missiles. And I need to do uh, my magic spells in this position. I don't remember why, but that's why I did it. Uh, the Boar Boys are going around the lake. Like I said, the Trolls are going straight up. And the Wolf Riders are running chaff. He cannot even move closer to me because my Wolf Rider is in the way. Magic phase. Got five power dice. I go ahead and I throw up. Stay quiet in a bubble. He I fail it. I just fucking fail it outright. Damn it. I got four, five, six, seven, eight on a ten. Um, I go ahead and I do fix it up. I get that one off. No, he, I fail that one too. He dispels that one. Then I did get uh, Gift of the Mother Spider up. And uh, that's about it. Um, over here, shooting phase. I go ahead and shoot the web launcher to those Varkais that are coming around. The Varkalax that are coming around that way. And I misfire and I take a fucking wound. The A-Rock shoots her web launcher into these small ghouls here does three wounds and gives them uh dts if they want to charge in they're the only unit that could really march or charge right now um well i guess the other guys could charge too but i don't think they will um over here close combat close combat i hit him with the dragon rammer dragon rammer racks up like three wounds on him all right then i go ahead and i swing and i think i do do like one more wound he has like one wound remaining I know he has one wound remaining, which is the amount of screams he has. So he goes ahead and he screams into my general. Does it? He says it automatically hits. I don't know if it automatically hits or if he had to roll a ballistic skill and just shoot. He's bullshitting me. I don't know. I haven't really looked into the rules on this. But he goes ahead and he screams back. He does one wound out to my general, but my general just crumbles ass to death. And I'm just going to reform facing whoever the hell I want to face. It's going to start off turn two. Vampire Coven. Turn two, Vampire Coven. He moves up the ghouls. Uh, he just moves. He doesn't march. Uh, he moves up the, the Varkalax, all of them, of course. Um, he doesn't take the bait where he could charge into my flank of my savages, which I don't know why. 
And he doesn't take the bait with the dogs either. He Oh, he moves the Varkalak in front of the general because he doesn't want the general getting into his unit of necromancers by himself and just fucking them all, all them up. He realizes the general is serious muscle. So he goes ahead and he backs up. Varkalak's in front of me. He's like, just we'll have to deal with it that way. Um, and he doesn't move because he just figures, you know, whatever, my wolves my wolves are in my own way, he figured. Um so he goes oh he does move he moves like this in this weird angle he figures he's just gonna do magic spells this way that's what he's gonna do right magic phase he's got five power dice and uh he goes ahead oh he did march with these guys these guys took four wounds from the dts but anyways magic phase he does flaming swords onto this unit and when he does this i'm like he's gonna get it off my trolls are in charge range but it's kind of stupid to charge in if he does flaming swords and i'm just gonna let him have it you can have it, Todd. Go for it, right? So not only does he do flaming swords, he does the attribute kills the dogs. Uh, after he after he did it, and I realized the attribute was going off, I was like, shit, because I already told him he could have it. So he goes ahead and he does a uh, smoldering ember, and I was like, just go ahead. I don't care. I'm not gonna even touch this unit. I'm not gonna touch this unit this turn. That that unit is just basically untouchable at the moment. So uh, he goes ahead and does the attribute onto the trolls, does one wound, and it's gonna go ahead and start off. Orcs and Goblins turn two. Orcs and Goblins turn two. Koopa! Koopa is charging into those ghouls right there. The Borpocalypse boys are charging into the ghouls right there. The A-Rock is charging into the ghouls right there. And guys, it's the ambulance. Do you hear it? The power of the ambulance is going in with this charge. Anyways, so I go ahead and I charge with all three, right? Um, and I think Koopa has a flank. I think the A-Rock might have a flank or a front. I don't remember entirely. We'll see in a second. He had a front. She had a front. So I go ahead and I get in with all three. Okay? Like so. And then I don't charge the trolls in. Actually, what I do with the trolls is I just march the trolls up in front of the face of his, um, vampire, uh, ghouls. I'm like, you want it to come at me? Come at me, bro. I'm serious. I move up, uh, Dread charge into the Varkalak. Savages move out of the forest. Okay, I move the chicken rock further back away from the two Varkalex that are coming. I'm just still going to keep shooting him, right? And then I don't remember what I did with the goblins. I don't know why. If maybe the goblins moved up eight inches. I don't remember. Magic Fade's got eight power dice. I go ahead and I throw up Evil Eye onto his uh, ghouls that were uh, in the unit. And he's like, go ahead, do it. And once he does it, he realizes why I did this. It was like a two dice spell. I didn't even do the big cast one. I just did a small one. And he's like, fuck. And I use the attribute to heal Zod. And he's just like, fuck. <laughs> he's like, that sucks. And then we had the argument about can you take necromancy or what or not. And we sh I showed him the wording. The wording says that it heals a friendly character. It doesn't say it has to heal undead. It says heals a friendly character. So I healed freaking Zod. Um, I go ahead and I do, uh, what is it? Gift of the Mother Spider onto Koopa, give him extra poison, and I use that to heal the Chicken Rock. Uh, <laughs> I go ahead and I do fix it up. He stops that one because that's the one he needs to stop because he wants to do poison attacks. Um, and then I go ahead and I do shooting. Shooting phase, I go ahead and I do the web launcher into this unit. Might have killed some, might have not killed any. I don't remember. It's just too many goddamn bodies to count. Over here, close combat. Impact hits, does two wounds. He goes ahead and swings. He does another wound onto Zod, but Zod just crumbles and beats the crap out of that guy and reforms facing this way. Okay. Um, over here, close combat. Woo shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Between Koopa, the A-Rock, and the Borpocalypse boys, they popped the unit. I am not kidding. They did, uh, Koopa, I, Koopa probably got, like, close to about six or seven wounds, or, or five or six wounds. The A-Rock got, like, ten wounds, and then the Boar boys did the rest and just mopped up the unit. Holy shit. I do not, uh... Ral I do not overrun with Koopa. He thought about it going into that flank, but going into the flank alone is not going to net me anything. He's going to have uh, ranks and banners. He'll be steadfast, all that crap, right? Um, what I end up doing is I reform the boars. Even though they're in dart formation, I just reform them so they're in rank formation facing where the trolls are. So they're going to go ahead and face that way. The A-Rock turns around, faces this way. Koopa still stares down the flank, and that is how it's going to look. It's going to start off his turn. Vampire Swarms turn Vampire Coven turn three. Vampire Coven turn three. He's going to go ahead and charge into the trolls. Here we go. He's going to save all his dice for freaking flaming swords. Who wouldn't? All right. So he goes in and he has to take the web launcher damage and he's going to lose. Holy shit. Three, six, seven guys because of the web launcher. That's fucking awesome. Um, 
He's moving up his Varkalax again because I'm just moving away as he's moving up. Magic phase, he got four power dice, and he goes for the flaming swords, and I dispel scroll it. Ah, all right. Close combat. Trolls take out five of them. He goes ahead and he swings. He ends up doing holy shit. I mean, his general is in there. He has all these guys. He has a BSP in there with some killy ass weapons. He ends up doing like nine wounds and ki or eight wounds and killing off the trolls. Trolls are gonna fail this combat, but you know what? That's okay. I'm gonna tell you why it's okay. Cause if you look where I am right now, even if he overruns, even if he overruns into my boar apocalypse boys, even if he overruns and he skims out the boar apocalypse boys, and cause it's, it might, might be a small angle. I'm going to fucking hit him with everything really soon. And he is just SOL. The trolls did their job. The trolls set up a chaff unit. And they also killed some bodies. And he didn't even do it. So he decides to sit back. And the trolls are going to run away. The trolls get far enough away to not chaff me. Which was actually a very smart move by him. If he did... Um, if he did... Uh, didn't chase me and I'd only roll like say a 3 or a 4. I would have been chaffing myself with my trolls. But the trolls ran like nine. They got away. And holy shit. Here it goes, guys. Turn three. Orcs and goblins. Holy shit. Koopa! The boar boys and Zod all going into his main unit. He's just like, son of a bitch. I go ahead. I hit the center with the boar apocalypse like so. Zod and Koopa are touching the tips of the corners. Everybody's in combat. It's maximized in combat, right? Everybody could hit somebody. But I have them spread out so I don't lose my magic items and he's going to have to take his own damage. Alright, so um, I end up moving the A-Rock around the flank. The, the trolls rally. The savages are moving up. The, the, I'm keeping a, a close circle with my leadership bubble. That was the whole deal from the beginning. My goblins are coming up. Magic phase got nine power dice. I go ahead and I do stay quiet on my boar boys. I think it was just the boar boys. I don't think I tried try to risk it for the, for the... Oh, I couldn't do the aura because the goblin's way back there so the boar boys got it i go ahead and i do fix it up and this one he does stop um i go ahead and i do and, and like i did something else and he stopped it as well but the thing is everything i'm doing is giving me the ability to heal my guy so i heal zod i heal a troll <laughs> oh man i go ahead and do web launcher the web launcher hits one of the varkalax here that are chasing off doesn't wound him but still hits him um, and then over your close combat, he challenges with a champ, and Koopa accepts, and Koopa's gonna punk the shit out of this guy. Koopa gets a max of like, oh, he only gets two wounds. <laughs> two wounds. Uh, Zod goes, impact hits, um, does like one wound or two wounds. And then, um, let's see, one, two, three, impact hits did three wounds, excuse me. Um, and then he goes ahead and he starts swinging. He kills four Boar Apocalypse boys. Four. Those two remaining kill off a couple more. And look at this. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wounds. Ten wounds to his four. I have a charge, a banner. He's going to crumble a bit. He's going to lose a couple bodies. And he, I think I do reform. I reform a little tighter. And the reason why was to try to give the savages something to charge in on the flank over there. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. It's going to go ahead and start off turn four, vampire counts. Uh, he's going to charge in both these guys. I'm like, okay, go for it, man. I'm like, I'm going to stand and shoot. So I stand and shoot. I end up thinking I do a, like a wound to one of the Varkalax, but he ends up taking DTs, giving him another wound. All right, which I'm like, okay, whatever. Or I don't think he took any wounds. I think he regened them. I don't think it matters. Magic phase, he got 12 power dice. He goes ahead and he does a burning ramparts on my savages. I stop it. Or he failed it. He just failed it on the dice roll. And he was like, fuck. Then he goes ahead and he does Smoldering Ember. And he fails that one on the dice roll. He's like, fuck. And then he goes ahead and does a Fireball. And I, I think I stopped that one. And he was just like, he didn't get shit off with 12 dice. And he was just like, that. you gotta be kidding me. Over here, close combat. I challenge with Koopa. Because now it's only his general and his BSB left. And I don't care what magic items they have. I'm still turning off all the items in that unit. So I go ahead and I challenge... His BSB accepts, and his BSB ends up doing two wounds onto Koopa, which is fucking nuts, might I add. And I end up just fucking wiping him out. I just kill him out, right? Do four wounds. Koopa, he just punked him. Uh, over here, he ends up... His general hits first, faster than than my Boar Boys. So he goes ahead and he kills both uh, Boar Boys left in the Boar Apocalypse. So it leaves my general... Now, where his magic items turn back on, and his and his general gives his whole army parry. 
or his whole unit parry. So now my general's hitting on fours. I do a couple more wounds, but guess what? Since he did four wounds, he has a banner and he has a rank. All right, so he did like six. I did four on his dude, and I think I did like one maybe with the general because I just whiffed with the parries. I lose combat. I think I lost, yeah, I lost combat by like one. So I roll the dice. I do uh, Koopa first. Koopa runs away. I do the general, and the general sticks. And he's going to reform. He's going to try to, oh, I reform. I move over a little bit this way so I can give the troll some room to charge in if I needed to. And it's, uh, that's about it. Over here, uh, close combat. He ends up swinging. Now, his Varkalak, uh, closer to the camera, is going at initiative four. The Varkalak, further from the camera, has negative two initiative because of the web launcher. So he goes ahead and he swings with the first one on the right, and he does two wounds onto the chicken rock. I'm like, I'm putting everything onto the one that hasn't attacked, and BAM! I took his ass out, killed him outright. Now he has a charge and two wounds. I think I did four wounds. He's like, Fuck, man. He loses combat. The chicken Rock's going to sit there. It's going to go ahead and start off turn four Orcs and Goblins. Turn four Orcs and Goblins. Savages are going in. They got a flank. The a Rock's going in. Got a flank. And I decide I don't even need to charge the trolls in. I'm just going to go ahead like that. So, uh, Magic Phase got... Oh, they got in, by the way. Magic Phase got eight Power Dice. I go ahead and I do Fix It Up. I try to do all these stupid little shitty spells. And he's stopping me, stopping me, stopping me, stopping me. He's like, no, you're going to heal your general. And I got Fix It Up off. And he tried to stop it and he couldn't. And boom, I heal my general. And he's like, you got to be kidding me. I, I was like, this is exactly how it feels when you're playing against the vampire army. When they keep healing their guys that you're taking so long to try to hurt. But anyways... <laughs> <laughs> so I can fix it up. He doesn't get poison on my his attacks. Um, and these are the other spells he dispelled. Um, over here... Oh, he used the spell scroll on one. Over here, I move my goblins back. I let the fanatic go through. The fanatic hits both the chicken rock and the varkalak. But the, I think I do... I only did one wound onto him. Didn't even scratch my chicken rock. Um, over here, his general challenges me. I accept with my general because I figured... If I accept it with my BSB or my champ, yeah, he'll get max wounds four on my champ. But why? He's not going to kill my general. He is not going to kill my general. So I go ahead and I'm like, go for it, dude. So I go a sword and board. And I'm just like, I'll just tank it out, you know? So he goes ahead and he starts swinging. He doesn't do a single wound. He tried. And then I go ahead and I swing back. And I didn't do a single wound. Over here, the chicken rock goes. Chicken rock, or why do I keep on saying chicken rock? The A rock goes. The A rock kills two, four of them. Guys, it's the second ambulance. That's Shy Town for you. A Rock does four wounds. Savages go and just pop the whole fucking unit. <laughs> Holy shit, those savages fucked up the unit. His general's gonna crumble. Oh man. And before the crumble, we still go on with this combat. The A Rock or Chicken Rock, see I keep mixing them up. Chicken Rock goes ahead, swings, does two wounds. He doesn't do any wounds to the Chicken Rock. And his whole army's gonna pop right at that moment. And he was like, Holy shit, James, you kicked my ass. Guys, I'm having fun with this list. I don't know about you guys. If I'm putting up these videos, I'm trying to pump them out, but I'm having fun with this list. That was a huge 20-0 victory. I believe the, the, the objective was to get banners, more banners than they have. And as you can see, I have all my banners still intact. Oh, actually, I lost my boar boys. I did lose my boar boys. But all he had left was the skeleton unit, and his skeleton unit really wasn't going to do anything to the whole horde of savages and the A-Rock and Zod and the trolls and and the chicken rock was about to kill his other guy and I was going to go ahead and heal Koopa and I was going to heal Zod and it was just, it was brutal so he's just like, dude it's it's done, it's over you got the big win so we hung around for like an hour and a half waiting for the round to end and Todd was like, come on why do we have to wait around so long <laughs> and I was like, dude I found an opportune time to make more cards uh, magic cards that I was uh getting rid of over at that tournament by the way guys if you need magic cards send me a message um, I make the ones that are in these videos of course and I <coughs> sell them <coughs> sell them <coughs> five dollars <coughs> uh, but uh, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos I'm enjoying making them hit like hit subscribe if you don't if you haven't done that already if you haven't subscribed what are you doing with your life seriously I have one more game in this tournament I'm making a comeback Ian knocked me down but Ty got me up again so uh, I'm going against Judson and his Vermin Swarm Army. Guys, can't wait to put that video up. And I will see you in the next video. Alright. Um, I think that's about it. MVP 
It's the main man himself, Zod, man. Zod ran in there, killed the freaking Terror Guys, killed the Varkalak, and just started destroying his freaking unit while everybody else got in contact and got what they need. The MV, uh, second like runner-up or honorable mentions goes to Koopa and goes to the Goblin Shamans for healing everybody. That is fucking awesome. That is an awesome attribute. I love it. I love it when I could get it on Lore of Life. I love it when I could get it in Necromancy. I love when I could get freaking metal. All right. I love the Goblin attribute. It's one of the best attributes in the game, period, by far. All right, guys. I will see you in the next video. If you have any comments or feedback, leave it in the comment section below. And I have to get back to work. All right. Peace.